Hi everyone! Look what I've just got in the post today from Amazon. The Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. This is going to be my first unboxing video ever, and I'm really excited to show all of you what is all about. Now, why did I order this one? Well. I am currently using a Fitbit Charge HR. This is three years old. And I was hoping to make it last for, oh, another year. But at some point, it just gave up. I'm sure, not sure if some of you are aware, this Fitbit Charge AR had its problems. I had this replaced twice in its two-year warranty period because there was some bubbling on the strap and this happened every nine months now the fitbit charge is a great step tracker and it comes with a heart rate monitor and i've used this for three years as i've said but recently it has started to fall apart as you can see and I thought, right, it is time to get a new smartwatch. So what should I get? Now, one of the problems for me was this Fitbit Charge HR was a little too big. So if you see here, there we go. There you look at that. I am at the last place on the strap and there is quite a lot of space on this so I thought ah oh, what can I get for a smartwatch there weren't many out there markets for me so it was either that or the Samsung Galaxy watch that was released last August. I'm glad I held out for it because this watch is way smaller. Okay, this watch is has a 20 centimeter standard strap and it has a 40 centimeter face. Now, if you look at the size, the length of my wrist, let's see. Uh, we've got here oh I'd say it was 4.5 centimeters and I just needed to get something that would fit me better but let's open this baby up and see what it's all about okay all right this part's always the hardest bit without any particular practice and I'm hoping to do all this video in one take without any editing right we have it manufactured date 1st of March 2019 and today is the 22nd now I know you've seen a ton of unboxing videos already on YouTube but what can I do? The release date in the UK is the 21st of March and Amazon just managed to deliver to this to me today. So the manufacturer date on it is the 1st of March and the model is the SMR500 printed in Vietnam. But let's have a look at this. So we've got the watch. Okay, let's put that aside and this must be the cable, the charging, the wireless Qi cable. Now, I'm a bit disappointed that this isn't detachable and it is one piece so you can't, you'll have to bring this whole thing along and you're not able to just use a micro USB or preferably I would have preferred if Samsung gave us a wireless charger that supported USB-C saves on 
having to carry many cables but it is what it is and let's have a look at the watch Ooh, we've got the I've got the black model let's see is there an extra strap in there um, doo -doo -doo. I yes there is and there is the extra strap which I don't think I will be needing there is the extra strap let's see there we go how long is that one so let's got a ruler here that's about a 12 hmm, say 13 centimeter strap and that one is oh, a good tree a good four centimeters shorter so as i said i don't think i will be needing this one so let's put that aside and let's see how it fits on my small wrist there we go hmm. whoa it's almost two notches to go and yeah. That's the new strap design which goes under your wrists. And oh, I would say that was still a bit tighter, so maybe we'll go one notch less. Yeah, that's better. So I really like that bit that strap which goes under it's comfortable and it's a big improvement from wearing this on the outside with the traditional claps on this fit bit here let's power this thing up and see how long it takes to boot up on the first go and I'm going to use this Samsung Galaxy Watch Active naturally with a Samsung smartphone. This is the Galaxy Note 8. And we shall fire up the clock to see how long it lasts. Oops. There we go. Stopwatch. Right, assuming I've known this is the power button, let's say go. And let's see how long that takes to start up from the first go. I'm hoping this will take less than a minute. And yes. Will it make less than 30 seconds? Come on. Oh. Oh. That was... There we go. I would say... And guess what? A Galaxy Watch Active has been detected. Alright. So, the smart... Sh the phone recognized as a Galaxy Watch almost instantly the moment it went on. See, a new watch has been detected. So let's go and see what happens. Get started in the Galaxy Wearable app on your phone. There we go. Start the journey. And swipe up. Pick your device. Hmm. It was smart enough to detect the watch, but it's not smart enough to tell me which watch it is. Thanks, Samsung. Galaxy Watch Active. Preparing to connect. Oh. 
Uh -huh. It's ready to pair up. Let's start. Tap to connect. Check your phone to complete setup. And I believe it is now doing the necessary downloads. So let's see. This watch is quite thin. Let's compare this to the Fitbit. As you can see, it is not that much thicker. Uh, I am pleased about that. Because nowadays these smart watches get, are quite thick and they're a real trouble if you're wearing long sleeve shirts or even tight sweaters and they tend to get caught in the call in the shirt cuffs but this one looks like it is not too thick uh, well it's just as thick as my fitbit charge hr oh setup is come starting setting up your phone let's hope this is how to use finish pairing up take a moment to here is a distraction while you're pairing take a moment to get familiar with your watch let's do that how to use your watch is to maintain a swipe left to different widgets swipe right to show the notifications next back key is the top button and the home key is the bottom button as there are two buttons on the watch next and this one i believe everyone knows ever since the fitbit to get the best heart rate measure above a finger's width above your wrist joint next notifications get notifications on your watch we can do that later next finish pairing and we wait now let's have a go and see how easy it is to take these straps off and let's go using nothing but fingernails oh Let's go and that was quick. And congratulations on your new Galaxy Watch Active. Yes, thank you very much. Allow plugins, allow to access your calendar, allow. And I don't think there's any other choice i don't know why they let have to do that because you have to agree to everything anyhow next restore there is no backup so skip next and we're all set enjoy your watch and straight away you are taken to swipe left for widgets right for notifications it's got your battery use your battery percentage it looks like i have 1.5 gigabytes free presumably for music Ooh, update software and that is almost all new products from samsung there will be loads to download 36 points seven six megabytes so this shouldn't take long here we go uh, 4g strength here is quite good so you won't be able to use your watch let's see home button take a look around hmm. Right, while we're doing that, so taking off the straps was fairly easy. Let's see how long it takes to put it back on. Oh. Yes, it's just catching that on your finger. Yep. 
Did I get it in? Mm, no. There we go. Is that in? Yes. And the other strap. Well, silly me, I have, is it? Right, no. So let's take that off and put that back here. Let's see, one, two, let's do that. Right, yes, so from the best, looks like you should have, should have a, some if you don't have, if you've cut your fingernails, this is going to be a harder operation, I can assure you. So, it's always good to have. Uh, there we go, that was quick enough. There we go. And what do we have? Oh, install now. <sighs> Then your watch will restart. Here we go. Let's just oh, start. How long is this going to take? Last time it got to around 30 seconds. So this time it has a bit of updates. I'm thinking it will take hopefully less than a minute. So, let's just see, get the wires ready for, oops, let's get the wire ready. And plug that into does it say it says wireless chi charger input 5 volts and it only requires a 1 amp charger and since most chargers nowadays is 2 amps and more this should not be a problem so let's have a look and see whether we can get that going. One minute 33 and the update, it is at 75%. Hopefully this won't take long now. Let's take that off hmm. Hmm. making a meal of it hmm. oh, plastic sometimes they can do a, too much packaging you worry about the plastics going into the ocean, Samsung, please, a little less plastic. Let's have a look. Charging, should magnetic, how strong is this? We've got, oh, I caught on quick, let's try it. Oh, doesn't stick very strongly, but there we go. Mm, shaking it a bit and there we go. It's not the strongest, but it's strong enough to find its spot. And three minutes down the line, we are still not back to the home screen. Let's just plug this into a USB socket and see whether there's any indicator. Going in. Right. There is 
no light indicator on this whatsoever so if this works if this doesn't work you will never know unless you put the watch on it let's see no it's probably not responding at the moment oh interestingly ah did you all see that so what does that tell you it tells you that this oh it's not doing it anymore let's have a look huh i could have sworn the display rotated just now because i think i've seen on other youtube videos that this galaxy watch active can be placed on the previous galaxy watch and chargers the those dots which are placed sideways and that would be quite good as you can get those on amazon for about six pounds oh there it is there we go it supports so if you get one of those amazon or you get it on amazon one of those samsung chargers those Samsung Galaxy Gear or Samsung Galaxy Gear Sport or the latest Galaxy. But make sure you buy the smaller one if you're going to get the Galaxy Watch. The 42 centimeter cradle, I believe, will be a better fit than the 46 centimeter cradle. With the Galaxy Watch, as I'm sure most of you will know, they come in two sizes. And so do the cradles. So, the 42 centimeter cradle will probably be a better fit. And five minutes down the line, we are still installing. Let's see. And I am hoping to test this. This is a wireless battery pack. Now, as you all know, for everyone who pre-orders the Galaxy Watch Active, they will get a free Samsung battery, wireless battery pack. Now, this is not it. This is just a wireless battery pack. And this works on the phone. Let's turn that on. And... Put that down and as you can see that's charging so that works on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 oops that's rebooted so that so that took at least six minutes and the proper reboot should hopefully take 30 seconds or less oh, and so as i was saying i'm hoping that this battery pack here will work on the galaxy watch active there let's watch update it and 46 seconds later we are back let's have a look at the battery shall we what happens when you dock it nothing there we go 62 percent let's try that again 62% what's up place it back on 62% now will it work on this let's test that again we put that there 86% charging wirelessly 
Now, Samsung Galaxy Watch, what will you do? And as I feared and watching on other YouTube videos, this is not supported, so it is not universal wireless chi. As I had hoped, that is disappointing that Samsung hasn't made it universal on all wireless chargers. Not quite sure why. Let's test it on a standard wireless charging pad. Let's go there. And let's just make sure. That, oops, I'll take that off. Let's take that off. we go 83 percent and it is charging wirelessly let's see i doubt this is going to work any better Oop. Mm. Mm. nope and I can't say I'm not surprised by this, disappointed, but that confirms it, folks. It does not support any wireless charging pad. No wonder Samsung encourages you to pre-order and get the free wireless charging battery pack. Since I don't have the new Galaxy S10, I am unable to wireless, wirelessly charge this from the my phone because it does not have reverse charging. Okay, let's see how heavy this watch is. We've got scales here. Let's put the Fitbit. And we've got 28 grams. Yep, 28 grams. Now let's see how heavy the Samsung Galaxy Watch is. It is about almost double the weight of the Fitbit, which is coming at 46 grams. So that's twice as heavy, but I don't think this is going to be noticeable on a daily basis. Let's have a feel. There we go. No. I think this will be comfortable enough to wear. And it fits my wrist brilliantly. That is a lovely AMOLED screen. Oh, I am not familiar with the previous Galaxy watch models, so I don't think I will be missing that rotating bezel that everybody raves about. And frankly, coming from a Fitbit charge sheet, uh, which is not swipe at all, it will be a considerable step up. Okay, folks, so that's all for this video. And in the coming days and weeks, I hope to be using both of these devices to test step accuracy, heart rate monitoring, and perhaps maybe even consider putting in some exercises. And we shall test the accuracy of the Fitbit Charge HR versus the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. Now, I know there have been reports that the Samsung Galaxy Watch is under-reporting all the steps. So, I don't think that it's going to be a problem for me in the long run because let's say if my target is 
10,000 steps a day on the Fitbit and this regularly reports it at 8,000 big deal so that means instead of a 10,000 step uh, target I'll just change the target to 8,000 steps knowing that that will be the requisite target on the my new watch it's just a different it may be under reporting it but it is what it is maybe Samsung will be able to Maybe Samsung will be able to, all right, to improve the accuracy on the watch with future updates. Who knows? But stay tuned. That's all for now. Goodbye.